My friend Eric Harvey is CEO of the Walk to Talk company, and he wrote a book by that title, Walk to Talk. And in that book, he said something very profound. He said that we tend to judge ourselves based upon our intentions, what we intend to do, but we tend to judge others based upon what they actually do. And of course, it works in reverse too. Other people are judging us, not based on our good intentions, but based upon our actions. And they're judging themselves based upon what they intend to do. Hi, I'm Joe Tai, CEO of Values Coach, and your coach for this 60 module course on the 12 Correction Values. And we are currently on module number eight, reliability, which is the second cornerstone of integrity, Correction Value number two. I talked about trust. You know, Stephen M. R. Covey said that the lack of trust is a tax that slows things down and makes them more expensive. And the way you earn trust is by being honest, the last cornerstone we covered, and by being reliable. And that means that you do what you say you're going to do, when you say you're going to do it, to the very best of your ability, at the quality level somebody else deserves to expect from you. That is reliability. How can you trust somebody who's not reliable? In marketing, there's an old saying that says, under promise and over deliver. That helps you be more reliable. If you have delivered more than you promised ahead of schedule, you gain a reputation for being reliable. Now that means that you have the ability to estimate and you have to be able to estimate two things. What is your promise going to take in terms of time and what is your ability to deliver? Now I don't know about you, but I personally find myself chronically overcommitted because I overestimate what I'm capable of doing and I underestimate what it's going to take to <laughs> For example, do a 60 module video series on the 12 correction values. And you've probably heard that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I don't believe that at all. I think you ought to have lots of good intentions, far more good intentions than you can ever fulfill. If there is a road to hell, and I'm not sure there is, but if there is, it's, and it's paved with anything, it would be broken promises, not good intentions. Now, what are the enemies of reliability? This is very important in today's world. There are two things that will cause you to not be reliable and thus to compromise your integrity. And the first is procrastination. The more you put things off, the more you procrastinate, the less reliable you're going to be. My favorite definition of procrastination is this. It is putting off to tomorrow what you should be doing today so that you constantly end up living with yesterday's work, yesterday's challenges. The second thing that will compromise your ability to be reliable is debt. Now, debt is simply the financial equivalent of procrastination. It's spending money you don't have. My favorite definition of a credit card. A piece of plastic that you use to buy things you don't need with money you don't have to impress people you don't know. Those two things, procrastination and debt, challenge your reliability. And I'm going to share with you three three-word phrases that can help you always be more reliable. And the first, you've probably heard it in the drug war, just say no. If you're given an opportunity to do something that is not a, a key priority, or you're not sure how long it's going to take, just say no. Thank you. I'd love to be on your committee. I don't have the time. Before you turn on the TV, just say no. I have more important things to do. Second is do it now. Or in the memorable phrase of Brian Tracy, who wrote a book by this title, Eat That Frog. First thing in the morning, take your ugliest, most hideous task, doing your taxes, whatever it is, and do it now. Eat the frog. Nothing worse will happen all day. And finally is direction deflection question, which we've talked about before on the earlier modules. Is what I'm about to do going to help me fill in the blank, achieve my goals, um, manage my time more effectively, manage my money more effectively. Using direction deflection questions will help you be more reliable. And finally, Steve Pressfield wrote a wonderful book on creativity that's really about much more than creativity. It's about authenticity and courage. And in that book, it's called The War of Art. It's about overcoming the inner blocks that prevent you from living your most creative life. And in that book, he says, the solution is to turn pro. And by turn pro, he does not necessarily mean join a profession, 
be it a doctor or something. And he doesn't even necessarily mean getting paid for it. He means every single day you pick up your lunchbox and you show up at work and you do your best job. Whether you feel good or bad, if it's raining or sunny, you show up for work, turn pro. That is the secret to being reliable. Honesty and reliability, the first two cornerstones of integrity. If you don't have those two, you're at risk of losing everything. Next, we'll talk about humility. So I'll see you then.